Hey guys, Master Chris, and we're going to be doing some basic, uh, not really arts and crafts, basic drawing skills. We're going to be using very simple shapes and then start to uh, build kind of more complex characters from those, okay? So, um, everything that we do, again, you don't have to be the best artist in the world, uh, just give it a try, okay? So, I'm going to be using um, the red marker to start to make the, the shapes. And then I'll fill in like details and everything, uh, the actual um, picture that I want to make with a uh, black marker. Okay, so let's start with something simple. Uh, let's make a shark. Okay, sharks are nice and easy. Okay, I'm going to start right here with a circle. Right now, most of the time, um, like if you want to get something that is a circle and trace it, go ahead and do that. Um, most of the time, people wouldn't say a shark is a circle shape, which is very hard to say fast. Go ahead and try that too. Um, but you can usually build everything from a simple, um, you know, from a simple area like a like a circle um, based on the body of a shark. Okay, so I have that right now. Um, let's not go all the way over the top. I'm going to start kind of at the edge here. So like. I'm going to make this line right here, so don't make that line, I'm just showing you, right? Uh, I'm not covering the top of the circle or starting from the very, very top. I'm starting from over here and I'm going to draw a long line straight out like that, okay? And I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom, okay? Just start to go up um, like they're going to meet. Now they don't need to touch right now, okay? They can, but they don't need to. So I'm going to go up towards the other line and then stop. There's a little bit of a gap right there. Okay, so circle, line out this way, line out this way. And now we're going to make the tail fin, okay? So I like to think of them as like, you know, really long, sharp, so like a curve out there. Come back in, and because he's a super rugged shark, he's got a chip in his tail because he's that cool. All right, so now same thing right here. Go down. I have the bottom one shorter than the top one. So I go here, and I go here. So there's your shark back fin, okay? Now... Uh, from here, we're going to start to go to the very front of the mouth. So, uh, again, not at the top of the circle. I'm going to create a little bit of space. Don't draw that line in there. I'm just doing that so you can see. Okay? But I go over here, and I kind of go on an angle down. Now, same thing here. I'm going to go on an angle up. Okay? And it's not going to be as long as the back here. Okay? You see it's a lot shorter. Okay. I think you can kind of see where we're going with this now. So we have um, this whole part that's left blank. So I'm going to make, uh, probably starting from the inside, a little bit of a line here, going back, come back up. Again, another chip in the fin because he's super tough. A lot of fights, right? Don't fight though. Not, not good. Okay, now we have the top fin up here. So this one I like to make more up and down. So we go up, we come down. And there's our top fin. Okay, now we're going to throw in the gills. Okay, a couple little circular lines right there. Okay, now you can make whatever kind of a shark you want. Now, I always make like angry looking sharks because I think it's cooler. So um, kind of on the upper part of the body, I'm going to make an eye. So if you want it to look angry, you'll go like down and like that. Okay, if you want it to look goofy, you can go open like this and with a circle. Okay, that would be the eye if it's a goofy shark. Okay, so you can make whatever kind of eye you want to make, uh, whatever suits your style. So here, angryish shark. Okay, and then mine's going to be uh, grinning with a lot of sharp teeth. So um, after the curve down here, I'm going to move uh, not all the way at the bottom but kind of right in between the fin and the nose, like right near the middle, right around there for me. I'm going to start a big curve up and then a big curve down. And I think every shark has sharp teeth, so we're going to go zigzag, 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 zigzag. All right. And then obviously, you know, when you want to, you can start throwing it. Oh, he probably has more than one fin. That one's going to be hidden back here. So, oh, look, there's the other fin. Um, but yeah, so there's your basic shark from just a simple circle. Okay. Um, and then, you know, anytime you want to do something else, you know, give him a mustache. Go ahead and do that. Probably a dark mustache.
yeah this is this is good yeah I think that one's good okay uh, so there's our sharp now let's move on to a different creature These aren't dry erase markers, these are wet erase markers, so. All right. Um, hummingbird, let's do a hummingbird. Okay, hummingbirds are cool. So, um, we're gonna make a bean. That's our basic shape to work from, okay? Um, a bean curves outward like this, loops at the bottom, comes back up, Okay, there's a kind of a basic bean shape. All right, doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be great, you can get better over time. Okay, so um, that's the basic body of a hummingbird. So from the very top here, I like to have this smaller because it's gonna be the head. Usually the head isn't gonna be bigger than the body. As far as I know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a bird uh, scientist. But from here, I'm gonna go straight out from the top of the bean here, all the way forward all the way back and there's the beak okay then we're going to give it an eye you can give it any kind of eye you want again you can make an angry hummingbird i typically don't see them as angry so i give them these little kind of shiny eyes here but do whatever you want okay you can give them a goofy eye now you're usually going to see a wing coming back from here so um when you get into a lot of detailed drawing wings actually are very very tough but I'm gonna go over just a quick, easy way to draw a wing um, that you guys can follow at home. So, um, kind of in the middle, uh, I'm gonna, you don't have to draw this dot, I'm just showing you. Um, so like right around here, I'm gonna start the wing, okay? Um, it's not way down here, that'd be too low for the wing, and it's not like right next to his eye, that'd also look weird. So it's kind of, you know, right in the middle of his body. I'm gonna just make a line straight out. And then I'm going to make another line coming straight back in, and it doesn't have to be a, a, a very like thick one. All right. So now from here, I'm going to start to zigzag until I come back in. So zigzag, 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 zigzag. All right. And there's a basic hummingbird wing. Um, realistically, I would have made it bigger, but it's fine. Right. So um, they also have really cool tails that look pretty similar to this. So. You're gonna go from the bottom of the bean, straight down, straight back up, okay? Just kind of like that, that sharp pointy shape, okay? And then you can do the same thing where we go zigzag, 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 all right? And then we go back up and we have a, a basic hummingbird shape, okay? So there's a lot of, you know, details that you can do. I didn't even use my red marker for this one, I apologize. Uh, I just went right to it, okay? Uh, again, they're going to have another wing, so it's going to be over here. All right, uh, and if you want to do a foot, just, you know, make a little foot, two feet, and a top hat. There we go. Hummingbirds should all have top hats. Yeah? I think that one's pretty good. Okay, so there's our hummingbird. Basic hummingbird made from a simple shape, just kind of like a bean. All right, next. What are we gonna do next? What are we gonna do next? Let's do a robot. Robots are cool. All right, I'm gonna use the red marker this time. Okay, I promised. So, uh, I am going to make a square. Okay, we're this is just a easy thing to work off with a robot. Okay, so we've got the square. Now f going down from there, I'm going to make a smaller rectangle. Now square is about even on all sides. A rectangle means this side is going to be really long, and then this way is going to be shorter. So um, kind of in the middle here, I'm going to go much longer. It doesn't have to be super long. It's not going to be a tall robot. So here and here and straight across. So I've got my square, I've got my rectangle. All right, now these are gonna come into play later. I'm gonna do not too far away from the body unless he's got super extendy arms. I'm gonna make a little circle. And same thing on the other side, 
a circle. All right. Um, and we're going to be using basic shapes to make the legs and the feet, but um, let's start to fill this guy in with the black marker. Okay, that's our basic um, setup. So, I'm really just going to retrace all of this because uh, that's what it's going to be. So here, here, across, okay? And now, how do you make the face of a robot? A lot of different ways to do this. I like to make just kind of circular eyes that I make another circle around. Circular eyes and another circle around, okay? So now from here, I'm going to give it a mouth that it can use. So from the bottom of the, uh, the black line here now, I'm just going to go up and make a little rectangle. And that's its mouth. Okay, let's say its mouth is partially open. Okay, that's it talking. Okay, so um, from here, we're going to just rebuild the body. Okay, this stays the same. I actually don't need to do any adjustments to that. Now the arms are going to be coming from the side of the body and they're going to connect to the circles. So, arm out, arm out, other arm out, other arm out. Okay? And at this point, I'm going to give him like those little uh, kind of like pincer claws. So, uh, from this little circle, I'm going to go over and bring it in. Make kind of like a backwards C here. Okay, that's just because of what I wanted to make. All right, same thing here and a regular C for Chris. Boom, look at that. That's me. All right, and then from the bottom of the body, okay, I normally won't go right all the way at the sides. I'll bring it in just a little bit. I'm going to make two lines straight down, two more lines straight down. Okay, there's the legs, and then I'm going to make kind of like a, um, what's it called, a trapezoid? Here, 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 and there. Okay, uh, the feet are going to be shaped like that. So, one across, in, and across. One across, over here, and across, and just kind of connect the feet here. So now there's the basic body of a robot. The rest is just going to be details, okay? So, um, sometimes you're not even a good artist, you just have a lot of detail and that makes everything look better. So, I just kind of start to add in lines here and there. Uh, I like all of my robots to have antennae. So, you know, there's your, uh, there's your robot. Sometimes I'll just put a line across here just to mix it up. Uh, I'll give either the arms or the legs, they'll just be a bunch of lines. Not that they're necessary, okay? Um, to me, sometimes I envision uh, the legs are a bunch of springs, but I don't want to draw like the circular thing of a spring, so I'll just make lines straight across, and they'll either get the point, or they won't, that's fine. Alright, but um, yeah, there's your, there's your basic robot, and uh, nice and simple, okay? At least, you know, for me, you might be struggling. <gasps> But that's okay, because at least you're trying. And that is half the battle. Or is it knowing? Knowing that you're trying is half the battle. <laughs> All right, let's make an octopus real quick. Okay, um, so, uh, like a lot of things, we're gonna start with a circle. Circle is like a pretty fundamental um, shape for many organic figures. So, um, nice and simple, start with a circle. Now, when I say nice and simple, it's going to get harder. Uh, and we're pretty much done with that. Okay, there's going to be like 8,000 circles drawn uh, by the end of this because of like suction cups and all that. But this is kind of like the, the, the basic shape. So again, don't put these lines on your picture because they'll look weird and out of place. But right around here, not all the way at the bottom of the circle, but a little bit to the side. And then same thing over here. We're going to start to curve to the outside. And that's how we're going to make our, we're going to just make our tentacles. So I'm going to start from the top, follow all the way here. And when I get to this line that I drew, okay, near the bottom of the circle, I'm going to start to curve out. Okay. 
Same thing on this side here, all the way to the side, and start to curve out, okay? Now, since this is an organic shape, which means that it can really, um, it, you know, it, it takes on like a, like a, like a regular, it's not geometric. Geometric is like circle, square, triangle. They have very distinct shapes. This kind of takes on a shape of its own, right? That's mostly what an organic shape is. So um, the curve doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Um, you can start to make it your own. Now, um, obviously, uh, with an octopus, octo meaning it comes after uh, September, uh, um, or, or it means, means eight. Octo means eight. That was a joke. Um, we're going to do eight legs, okay? Now, sometimes all eight legs are visible, sometimes they're not, but we're going to start um, and just kind of make this shape, okay? There's going to be the tentacles. So I came out here, and we're going to go one, and I'm going to leave space for another one, so I'm not going to bring it all the way up and connect. I'm going to kind of just out of here make two. And these can be any like direction you want. They can be doing almost anything, right? I'm going to start over here. Three. How many more we got? Four. Let's do another one coming from here. Ready? Five. And again, it doesn't have to look just like this. It can take almost any shape. Uh, let's say that there's another one back here. Ready, six, and kind of coming from between here, seven, and the last one is all the way back here, but it's hidden, and you can see just the end of it, eight. Great, awesome. So, there's your basic um, setup outline of an octopus. Now... Realistically, the eyes are like here, and then they have like weird little things that come out of the side of their face, okay? Um, but that's too kind of semi-realistic and boring. So we're going to make these, I'm going to, you don't have to, you can do whatever you want. It's your picture, Da Vinci. But I'm going to make it a goofy octopus. So we're going to go one eye here one eye here and here we go if you want to make something goofy just kind of you know give it gigantic eyes okay so there we have the basic outline we've got the eyes okay so now the rest of the details however much detail you want to do um, to make it super simple Anytime you want to do a suction cup, just make a circle, okay? Little tiny circle. They don't have to be big, just like that. If you have the suction cup completely visible, let's say his, uh, his tentacle here is turned a little bit, you're actually going to go a circle and then another circle, so like that, okay? And you just repeat that as many times as you want to or as many times as you don't want to. And a lot of times the, the uh, suction cups come in pairs of two, so there's going to be like one right here. And then another one here. So one, two, one, two. It's almost like a bunch of little eyes. All right. And uh, so, yeah, so repeat that as needed. You can have as much or as little detail in this drawing as you want. Again, it's going to be your own drawing. So, um, you know, do, do however you want that. Um, and yeah, there's, there's your, your basic octopus. Very... Very simple for the most part, um, but again, that, that's coming from a lot of experience. Um, I can just draw tentacles for funsies. But uh, again, show me your successes or your failures, if you can. And um, yeah, I think that'll be the last one for today.